Hi, this is Jack from Maths Forge, and in today's lesson, we're going to be solving equations with two steps. So let's take a look at our first example. Here, we're going to solve 6x minus 9, which is equal to 3. So the first step that we're going to want to do is as follows. There is a minus 9 attached to this 6x. We are going to get rid of this minus 9 first, and we're going to do this by using the opposite operation of minus, which is plus, and the same value as 9, which is 9. So I'm going to add 9 to this side. It's going to cancel out with this minus 9, leaving us with 6x. Now, if I introduce a plus 9 to one side of this equation, I have to introduce it to the other side as well to keep things equal. And this is now going to leave us with the following. 6x on the left, and on the right, this 3 changes to a 12. 3 plus 9 is 12. Now, we are one step closer to solving this equation. There is a 6 being multiplied by the x. We need to get rid of it. Since the 6 is attached to the x via multiplication, we're going to detach it using division. So we're going to divide by 6, and we have to do the same to the other side. This is now going to leave us with the following. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times x is just x. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. So our final answer is x is equal to 2. And if we check our answer... There it is. We'll do another one star example. Here we have x over 2 plus 8, which is equal to 10. Now, since this divided by 2 is only attached to the x, this plus 8 can be cancelled first. And we're going to do this by subtracting 8 from both sides. This is now going to leave us with the following, x divided by 2, which is equal to 2. Of course, 10 minus 8 is 2. And now to get rid of this divided by 2 on the x, we are going to multiply by 2. Remember, the opposite operation and the same value. Now we have to do the same to the other side. This is going to leave us with x, which is equal to 4. And if we check our answer, there it is. Now let's do a two-star example. Here we have 2x minus 5, which is equal to negative 1. So just as we did for the one-star examples, we're going to add 5 to both sides to get rid of this minus 5. So I'm going to add 5, and I'm going to add 5. This is going to leave us with 2x on the left, and on the right, minus 1 plus 5 is 4. Remember, the aim of solving an equation is to get x on its own. Now we have a 2 multiplied to the x, so we're going to divide by 2, and we have to do the same to the other side. This is now going to give us x which is equal to 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And if we check our answer, there it is. We'll do another two-star example. Here we have minus x over 9 plus 7, which is equal to 16. Now, the first step here is to get rid of this plus 7. So I'm going to minus 7 from both sides. This is going to leave us with the following, minus x over 9, which is equal to 16 minus 7, which is 9. Now, we have one final thing attached to the x, which is a 9, and it's attached through a division. Now, instead of just multiplying by 9 to both sides, I'm going to multiply by negative 9. And the reason for this is multiplying by the 9 gets rid of the dividing by a 9, and multiplying by negative causes this negative to now turn into a positive. Two negatives make a positive, but we have to do the same to the other side. So it's going to be times minus 9 on both sides. This is going to leave us with the following. The minus and the minus give us a positive. The times 9 and the divided by 9 cancel out, leaving us just with an x. And on the other side, we're going to have 9 times negative 9, which is negative 81. And if we check our answer, there it is. Now let's do a three-star example. Here we have x minus 18, all divided by 2, which is equal to negative 1. Now, this is different from the two and the one star examples. Here, we cannot get rid of this minus 18 first. And the reason for this is because all of the terms in the numerator are being divided by a two. And if you remember the order of operations, division takes priority over subtraction. And the way we actually solve this is as follows. If you have everything being divided by a number, why don't you just times by that number first? So I'm going to multiply two onto both sides of this equation. Of course, x minus 18 all divided by 2 and then times by 2 cancels out this dividing by 2, which leaves us with x minus 18, which is equal to negative 2. Now this becomes more straightforward. 
we can get rid of this minus 18 by adding 18 to both sides. And this leaves us with the following, x, which is equal to minus 2 plus 18, which is 16. And if we check our answer, there it is. And that's it for the lesson on solving equations in two steps.